Right, Joe. Any answers there? <laughs> you, it's so funny. <laughs> does it? Because you never understood Daniel, did you? No, no. Do you understand no. him better yeah, after that? Yeah, I think I'm, I'll, I'll get a better idea from watching him from the public's yeah, perspective. He yeah, he just sees the world a different way. He but does. I, I can't believe he actually got through nominating. Well done. Well done. I know he's learning. He's having a good time. <laughs> now I wanted to show some footage of you having a good time in the house because Joe. No, it's innocent. Open your eyes. <laughs> it's making the most of the good time in the house. So now let's have a look at the twists and turns of Joe's happy times. Hello, Joe. How are you feeling? Good, thanks, girl. <laughs> That's why. Hey! Hello. <laughs> I love it. I'm happy. It's good. You look like a dickhead. Three of our final eight housemates have already taken a swing at the nomination pinata, so let's see how the votes have fallen. Ooh. Vincent is in the lead with four. Jamie is next on two, and Saxon, Patrick, and Kim are all on one. But there are five more housemates to go. All right. Now I'll just tell you who's nominated. Oh no! I'm not. We're not talking nominations. We have to talk Big Brother questions. Oh! I promised everybody last night, of course, that we would do the ten Big Brother questions. Yeah. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. No, they seem out of context. Oh. What well, say really exciting answers. What was the hardest thing about being in the Big Brother house? Uh, doing nominations. Oh, that's a good answer. What did you miss the most in the Big Brother house? Um, boyfriend, family, friends, best friends. Good girl. That was the correct answer, wasn't it, Tim? Who was your favourite person in the house? Um, Chrissy. <laughs> Why? Um, because she's hilarious and I love her to pieces. Bit of a mum? No, no, a bit of a, like an older sister. Good. Type of role. Who was your least favourite person and you have to answer? <sighs> and you have to do Still quickly. haven't, I haven't determined that yet. Um, Between yeah. who? Well, 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 Ben was up there because he did upset me a bit in the house. Yeah. Um, even though I, you know, formed a really good relationship with him initially, it just, I felt like I was betrayed at Time, All right, so. so we'll give half a point to Ben. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Who had the most annoying habit? Oh. oh. Um. oh. No, I don't, don't, I don't know meet Carlo. Carlo. I didn't know Carlo. Do um. you want to say Carlo anyway? Okay, Carlo. All right. <laughs> <laughs> For the sake of brevity, who was the funniest person in the house? Um, Chrissy again. Who yeah. was the laziest? Um, Dan. Dan's lazy. Oh. He doesn't doesn't yeah. do that much. What was your greatest... He's recycling. He doesn't, but doesn't do much cleaning. Oh, he recycles. Yeah. Well, that's saving the planet. I'm yeah. sorry. That's rather a big thing. <laughs> All right. What was your greatest regret in the house? Um... Out of the swimming pool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trivialise her entire life. What was your greatest regret? And you have to be honest. Um, I'm just... I'm, I don't... Was it a flirting thing? Yeah, uh, I just handled a few situations. That's probably. what you mentioned last night. You, yeah. I remember you said to me, oh, I could have handled that better. And that's my regret. Yes, it's very hard when boys adore you and worship you. I find it impossible <laughs> to deal with. <laughs> Who is, uh, oh, I've asked you that. Who will be out next week? This week? Yes. Next, uh, OK, um, I thought it was Kim. Rightio. Mm. And in present tense, you think it's Kim? I think it's Kim. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and who do you think will win? Um, either Reg or Chrissy. All right. OK. I know. A girl will be good. Yeah. All right. Now we've got a rattle on. OK. We're going straight to the diary room. Is that correct, Big Brother? We've got Vincent and Regina going into vote. Let's see what happens. Vincent. Big Brother. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? OK. For two points, I'll, uh, nominate Patrick. Um, he uh, hid the second jar of coffee when we ran out on the day that we really needed it and uh, waited a whole day before revealing it and he knew that I was craving it and I had a headache. 
Who do you nominate for one point for Vixen and why? For one point, I nominate Kim. Um, we've had a lean week and we have to share things. So when she had glass after glass after glass after glass over a couple of days of wine, I kind of missed out. So I thought it was a little unfair. Thank you. OK, thank you. Regina to the diary room. Regina. Yes. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Um, I nominate Saxon for two points because um, when I'm talking to people, he um, talk, butts in and talks over the top and I think it's rude and if I'm going to stay in this house, I don't want to... Um, it makes me feel angry and I don't want to feel angry. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? Um, one point to Chrissy because... Um, oh, bugger. Um, because, um, oh, Chrissy, because, um, she, um, oh, when I was, um, feeling down, um, down, oh, because I've lost a bit of faith in Chrissy, um, um, when I was feeling down last week, and I need to have trust if I'm to keep living in the house, to live in a trusting environment. Thank you. Sorry. So, trust is the issue du jour, isn't it? I should point out that Big Brother is being incredibly lenient with nominations tonight because he has an ulterior motive, and as we know, the ulterior motive is in that box on the table. Because, Joe, he is being more lenient than usual, isn't he? Yeah, he's not striking anyone. Are you, have you been surprised by any of those nominations? Um, a little bit Chrissy. surprised that Chrissy got nominated by Reg. I well, thought they were all quite close. Well, I should point out Chrissy nominated Reg last week. Did she? Yes. Would, I don't know, I haven't said anything. I know, well, lucky you're here, I can mm. tell you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> OK, coming up after the break, the boy who wears his heart on his sleeve, his friendship band on his wrist and his kilt on his head, and the man who's turned 30 and is perhaps a bit quirky. Mm.